What's up, pen people? Today I have a very beautiful pen to show you. It is a pen by a brand that a friend of mine named Nino Marino has founded, and it's called Natuno 1911. He's the same guy that also has a brand called Mayora, and I've done a review on uh, the Impronte pen. Natuno is probably Italian for Neptune, the god of the sea. The box is actually pretty cool. It has a very unusual packaging that I really appreciate because I can totally understand that, you know, in order to set yourself apart from these other pen companies, you wanna do some packaging as it's eye-catching um, and, you know, kind of tactile and something unusual. So Natuno has come up with something like that. It's got this outer black outer sleeve with the logo on it. And then when you take the sleeve off, you're left with a booklet, which of course probably covers the warranty for the pen. We have this type of foam sandwiched between two pieces of plexiglass. The glass. The plexiglass glass underneath is totally black. So that's what, so what we have is an image of Neptune. And again, the Neptuno logo. So, and all of this is held together by this elastic, black elastic strap. So let's go ahead and take that off. And so then what happens next is this part slides over like that. And here we are with our pen, which is uh, securely in that foam-like structure. I, I really appreciate that. You know, it's something different, something unexpected. And then, you know, after going through all that cool packaging, you're left with this gorgeous pen. And this color is in, I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right. It's an Italian word. I really wish I spoke Italian. It's a beautiful language. Nereo, N-E-R-E-O, Nereo. Uh, I've had my eye on this pen for so long. And finally, I was watching Pen Chalet because that's like my store of choice, okay? I love Pen Chalet, I shop there all the time. I probably spend way too much money there actually, but I love their service, fast service, excellent product. So finally I saw the price drop on this and man, boom, I jumped on it. And you know what? It sold out, this was like the last one. So I feel really, really lucky. So there's, it's kind of this tortoise uh, shell like pattern. Uh, around the barrel and the cap. And it's just so pretty with this beautiful gold trim with the architectural details. And of course, you know, going along with Neptuno and, and Neptune, the God of the sea, you've got his trident here on the clip and the clip's kind of this brushed gold metal. And this is something I noticed that Nino likes to do with his pens is he really likes to contrast textures. So the texture of like this architectural details, it's kind of a matte gold, but then, you know, right next to you, you have the shiny gold right here and shiny bands right here. And even right here, actually, no, I'm, that's brushed gold. Uh, but that contrasts also with the brushed gold on the clip. Just this beautiful pen. It's just gorgeous. Let, let's, let's take the cap off. Let's look at the nib. Again, there's that contrast with texture. The nib has a beautiful texture with the, the matte and the shiny. And so I think Nino really likes to play with visual texture. I mean, just by looking at this pen visually, there's all kinds of cool textures going on. And it's just such a well-balanced composition. I mean, okay, that's the art historian coming out of me, but I look at each of these pens, they are, they're works of art. They really are. Like, this pen is just such a work of art. Um, so does it post? Let's see. Yeah, it sure does. And when it's posted, like it doesn't lose any of those aesthetic qualities that Nino is aiming for. So, you know, even when it's posted, you might notice this little detail, you know, some of that, that the end of the barrel is kind of exposed here. Speaking of that part of this pen, it's actually a blind cap which is great. So let me put this on. I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the nib. Okay. So it's a blind cap and what it does is it actually comes off and it reveals the top of the converter. So that way, if you're feeling kind of 
so feeling kind of sassy that day and you don't want to fill up your pen uh, the traditional way by taking the entire barrel off. You could just come over here and, and use the, uh, use the blind, take the blind cap off and use the end of that converter. Why not? Speaking of converters, let's unscrew the section. And the converter is actually quite lovely too. It has more of that brushed gold and then the Tuno logo right there at the end of it. So, I mean, gosh, what a lovely, this is just a, a lovely pen. Um, you know, it's not like super heavy or anything either. It's a very comfortable pen. And so like when it's posted, you know, it doesn't make it like this ginormous pen that, you know, it's like some pens, you know, you cap it and it's just like, wow, it just really increases the size of the pen. I can't handle this. So I always end up uncapping my, my pens or unposting my pens. Why not capping my pen? I usually end up unposting my pens because it's like too much pen, but this is like actually perfect. Like I can comfortably write with this uh, for a while. I also have my other Natuno pen. Um, it's in the Tritone, which was a, a limited edition here. So just for comparison purposes, I'm gonna put these two next to each other. because this one has a silver trim, so this one has a gold trim. And so, you know, there are some differences here between the two pens. They're both just equally lovely. And I'm hoping that from my experience with the Tritone, I know that this nib is probably gonna be really awesome because this nib writes, it's a steel nib. They have steel nibs. But I'll tell you, I've never tried a steel nib that wrote so bouncy like a gold nib. And that's what this nib does. And I'm hoping that the same experience happens with this pen. So I guess the next thing to do would be to ink this gorgeous Natuno 1911 up and let's see how that nib writes. Thank you so much for joining me at this look at the Natuno 1911 fountain pen. If you're able to find one of these, I don't know how much is in production or how much is at individual stores. I know that I've been waiting for this pen to come in stock for a long time. And when I got it, it was like the only one. I urge you, when you find it, jump on it. It's totally worth it. I mean, it's just a beautiful pen. And I mean, this is just, this would be a great addition to my collection. And I hope it would be a great addition to yours too. That's all I have. And that's how the ink flows.